what we're gonna do with Barnabas. How we're gonna go to the, his kingdom and destroy the mother crystal. He's How most likely he's gonna protect them. Give me a sec. Yeah, there we go. I got points. God damn it. Oh wait. You don't have enough points to upgrade the Titan's ultimate. Ah, uh, I don't. Fuck. Wait, maybe these points. I, I remember it was like 2000. How may I help you today, Clive? How much is, is everything it? we've received and everything promised? Alright. Natalie reports an unexpected surplus in Danamil's store as a means of showing the town gratitude for the past assistance. He expressed her dis uh, distant wishes that one Lord Underhill partakes in their good fortune. Here you are. All done? Fuck, I don't think I have enough. Do I? No, oh, so close. So close. Okay, what's going on? How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You, you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away.
fiend works from the shadows. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. God damn it. Sounds like he's about to die. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. That he doesn't have much time or something. Oh, new monsters. Fuck. What kind of new monsters do I have? Fuck. The tri spell terror. It's a level S. Fuck. I don't feel confident. Fuck. I still say it were a compliment. The... Say it all you like. It doesn't make it true. Wait, what's going on? Did you piss her off? What's going on? Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? 
Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the Kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Back again? How may I help you today? Of course. <laughs> oh, the menacing girl. Now we know what her role is, is to rescue the prince. This is why we... We see her. She will be the one who rescued the prince. But why isn't this bastard crayed out? We have... These guys grayed out his, his, like, I don't know, his teacher, his, wait, who's this again? Oh, uh, they're, they're the teacher's wife, and the father, then the mother, then, I don't know, stepfather-ish? Like, they're gray out because they're dead. How come this bastard's not gray out? He's still there. 
was swallowed by the flames of the red painting phoenix. He's still here. He still have color. God damn it! He's grayed out. Why? Motherfuckers. Study it well, Clive. Okay, this is where we're gonna start. Wait. They were gonna go here too, aren't they? Yeah. They were going the same way we were going, so shouldn't they have like a a port or or like a like some guards there like watching over the seas right there then? Like a, a docking bay? Very good. Why the fuck were they gonna stop right there? How much? How much did I need? I still have a, quite a lot. Like, quite a lot of open space. Holy shit. Means there's a lot more side missions I had to do. Like the one I'm about to do right now. Alright, what do you need help for? What's going on? Please, your grace. Oh, my lord Marquis. Okay, I... You must be, uh, really worried about Joshua, aren't you? I just heard you just now. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen. Though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone water itself is unharmed by the flood. Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Who really cares about Joshua? Are they lovers? Or is that Joshua? <laughs> He's like, uh, oh no, like open minded. Like he doesn't know that she maybe maybe she does have feelings I, I I'm not really sure but like, or is it that she's too loyal to him because he's Good the God. phoenix but he's really she's really concerned about his health damn all right here we are 
It's gonna be some like kind of boss is guarding this, this fucking flower, isn't it? Where is it? Right here? Oh, I think so. Here's the aqueduct. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. Where's the boss? There's the boss. Fuck! I fucking knew it. It's fucking goblins. Just my luck. Well, I won't be picking anything till they're gone. There's only one thing for it. I don't know if they can give this fucking big guy a shield, but. No! Fuck you! Down your, your fucking uh, shield, or whatever. What? Stack you, stun you, whatever. You saw your bitch. Say uh, like like uh, I defeated all of my enemy or enemy slain type of shit, but no, yeah. <laughs> I just go straight away for the fucking mission. Here it is. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. Here we go. All right, that should do it. Let's get these. Yote. All right, I got your flower. Are we going to see Joshua take it? Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. Phoenix, heal thyself. You and your brother really are alike, my lord. Though selflessness is a virtue, I beg you, please take more care of yourselves. Alright. Now then, back. Thank you. The main Split mission. The sea. All right, Joshua. What'd you find out? Did you find anything with the lore master about Ultima? I have no reason to assume otherwise. Well, then that changes everything. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, 
Have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait. You said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. If it please, Your Grace, might I one day borrow the Chronicles for a short while. Of course, Lawsman Hippocrates. You need but ask. <laughs> yeah, he wants to borrow it. It's it, I can ride the Enterprise name. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Why? Why don't you mention about Torgal? <laughs> that he will join with us, like he's gonna be with you. But fuck. fuck. Oh, is it almost mostly about the big nation? You, you never talk about him. I am certain we will find what we seek in Ash and learn the truth of Ultima's origins. Ultima's an alien. That's all I, got, all I gotta say. He's a motherfucking alien who came to our world. He brought the crystal. He's trying to steal life of the of our world by using ether. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly, can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order. 
while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Oh, we're just gonna be like that, okay. I thought we we're gonna go like, oh no, like somewhere around here, you know, like right here and get to the ship, but like some enemies are gonna stop us or something. No, we're just gonna put a waypoint here already. God damn it. You're gonna be a cussing? We're going over there? Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, oh she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. <sighs> Think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. What castle? Shall we sample oh. its inhabitants' hospitality? Let me see. I want to see the map. No. Oh. oh shit. Oh yeah, I I've been wondering. I took Jill's power, but like, did I permanently took her power? No, I can't be. I mean, like, I took Kupka, Benedicta, I don't know if I pronounce her name right, and Sid. Like, I took their powers, but, but like Benedicta, she, she, I took her power, and she was like saying like, give her back to her, give her back to her. But 
like it sounds like she lost her power like lost it lost it but then she transformed so did Kupka I took his power and he you know he still transformed and I don't know about this guy I think he still can transform I, I think I just took the power when they're like in their prime state you know like their prime power or whatever but I just couldn't take the icon. Just that I took the power they could use as when they're still human like this. Like for Jill. I took her power and she cannot use it anymore, I think. I don't know, I gotta see her fight. I gotta see her if she still uses the you know like the ice. Like like I don't know, maybe she can no longer use the ice power. Joshua got mad because I took her power. Oh, I thought I was like copying it or something, but no, it sounds like I stole her power. God damn it. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Hello? Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Did Barnabas kill his own people or something? Or or the orcs? Ah, shit. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and a cache. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. Yeah. Holy shit. Still more, aren't they? I thought I saw more over there. Yeah, there's still more over there. Come on, attack me, bitch. God damn it, Gav! You saw it, bitch! Damn it, Joshua is still strong. God damn it. Go! Oh, yours, well, I'm gonna go over here. Gotta take care of these bastards. I feel Barnabas killed his own people, so they turn them into monsters. It. No, there's still more over there. There's something. Oh shit, this is a big area. Fuck. Joshua, you, you saw your bitch. He's doing all these cool moves. Fuck. Over here in 
that direction. Can I call? Oh yeah. Good girl. What's over here? Are we gonna fight like a boss here? This is like a big giant area. Hello? Uh. No boss, is there? Oh. Oh no. What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's a level S. Oh look. It's the king of the castle. My god. It's in level S, what the fuck? Holy shit!
we go. <laughs> My first level S monster I defeated. Holy shit. Oh, I have enough to upgrade the Titan. Oh. Wait. Is this what I need to craft? The, the, the other sword? Your reign is at an end. I think it is. Fuck. Where's the Titan? Wait, I had enough? Wait, I thought it was like 5,000. What the fuck? What the fuck did I see? Yeah, I saw this? Shit! I'm blind as hell! Alright, I wanna see what happens. You know, like, when I upgrade it, he's gonna, like, transform, like, a different form, or he's gonna be the same? Wait, what? Holy shit! What the fuck? Increase the range and the number of hits. Ooh. Fuck, I'm blind as hell. I could upgrade more stuff. What the fuck would I upgrade? Uh what 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 could I upgrade? Be safe. It's Camber all over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive. I believe they kill all their their peoples. Barnabas has Ultima now. He doesn't need anyone else. He turns to ether. Delegation, we should send a warning to the others. No, my uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to Stone here. Hi, you never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Resupply? You still believe there's peoples here? I believe they're all dead. I mean... Again, Barnabas has Ultima. He doesn't need the peoples the now. I mean, like, I don't know what the fuck he's creating, like the... The secretary or his right hand man. But he said that the people says return oh, as this ether. This reeks like a marvel's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. Oh. This won't be easy. Right there. This 
smells this this whole place is dead. Holy shit. What the fuck did Barnabas do here? Fuck. This whole land is dead. He's supposed to be Odin. Odin is supposed to take care of his peoples, but no. Breath. Uh, don't look down, Toggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bark. Wait, are there actually people here? That must be Estla. Why am I getting potion? What the fuck is going on? Is there a boss here? What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter, Holy shit. No quarter! Part of this, like, give them armor and tell them to go to the ether and they transform. Fuck. Kill. Turn. 
Transform! I actually think fucking Barnabas killed his own people, so I turned them into these. He had to. Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this!
What did you do? If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made presentable. Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. God damn. He was watching us the whole time. Oh, oh we didn't see him or heard of him transform or anything. Fuck. Fucking. Damn it, even though this is all badass, but. Fuck. What can we find in here? So we got them all. So did I. Fuck. What's in here? Turned, all right. Who? for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. And this... Uh, okay is just a story something our grandparents told us when we misbehaved 
about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They... They all left. Drawn east to the tower. To Reverie. The elders. The healer. The blacksmith. My husband. Thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower... That's where we'll find the king.